China-U.S. ties dominated day three of the Beijing Xiangshan Forum on Military Diplomacy, with Singapore Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen floating the idea of a special envoy for each side. He also stressed how preventing a physical conflict in Asia is the most important task for the coming decade. Olivia Xiong reports. With China's big military diplomacy event taking place this year under the cloud of the Israel-Hamas conflict and the lingering war in Ukraine comes a lesson on how precarious peace can be. Addressing delegates at the Beijing Xiangshan Forum, Singapore's Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen says Asia cannot allow what's happening there to happen here. Simultaneous conflicts in Asia, Europe and the Middle East will be catastrophic for our world. A physical conflict in Asia, whatever the rationale, whatever the precipitating cause, will be devastating. Dr Ng says whether Asia can continue to rise and prosper will depend on the region's ability to secure peace in times of growing geopolitical instability. And the China-US strategic rivalry will be one of the central conundrums for this generation. The G2 scenario, where China dominates west of Guam in Asia, and the U.S. east of Guam is fantasy. It will never become the reality. Neither will the world be better off if either the U.S. or China declines. We need both a strong United States and a strong China if we are to effectively address global challenges. He says that requires political commitment and hard work from both sides. For China to promote stability regionally and globally, and for its progress to be regarded as virtue rather than threat, he suggests China can do more to integrate its markets with the rest of the world. It can also assure nations that its growth does not seek to supplant or replace, and lead the way in reducing tension in the region. Whether China accepts it or not, wants it or not, it is already seen as a dominant power and must therefore act as a benevolent one. Good evening. Dr. Ng says the China-U.S. relationship is central to peace in the region, and there are signs of a thaw. China and the U.S. continue to face a range of issues, although both sides have stepped up engagements in recent months as part of efforts to manage their differences. China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi visiting the U.S. amid talks that a possible meeting could take place next month between Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden, something that Dr. Ng welcomed. During a question-and-answer session, Dr. Ng pointed out there's no lack of initiatives when it comes to China-U.S. relations, but there may be room for each side to appoint a special envoy to continue engagement despite flashpoints that may emerge. For example, the alleged Chinese spy balloon incident and the tense exchanges at the Alaska talks. It disrupts the whole process. And each time it occurs, uh, the U.S. Secretary of Defense has said to me a number, uh, from the military to military talks are stalled and you can't make progress. And similarly for the economic or the other aspects. So perhaps a special envoy of sorts would, would help that. Dr. Ng says the China-U.S. relationship is central to peace in the region, and Singapore still considers the U.S. a stabilizing force. But even as America is encouraged to increase its economic presence here, there are issues that need to be resolved, such as Taiwan and the disputed South China Sea. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.